What's up? I'm glad to be here. Well, let me introduce you to everyone. This is Alefa. Alefa D. <laughs> uh, uh, hailing from the great uh, state of California and down in the southern part. Uh, you're, you're down from around the San Diego area. Is that correct? Yeah. San Diego. Yeah. Well, welcome. And you've got some good news for us. Alefa has been a student um, for a little while. Uh, <laughs> A few months and she's been working on building a, a lease options business uh, and and also some other things too been working on coho sailing some things um, she is not locked in to Southern California she is all over I've seen her working on stuff in Memphis I've seen her working on stuff in Arizona I've seen her working on stuff in other places so anyway welcome Alefa thank you <laughs> You, you had posted something on the Facebook group about uh, having a successful transaction and uh, and you're so kind to come on here and share a little bit with us about what happened. How'd you make some money? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the story. Oh, man. Um, so I don't know if um, you guys know uh, another member of the group was Kelly. So I worked with Kelly on this deal. And um, it just happened just through networking, pretty much. Um, so Kelly, I partnered with Kelly. Okay, he brought the properties. And um, I went and found the buyer. Pretty simple. Okay, nice. <laughs> Where was this? Where were the properties? Um, in Colorado. Pue Pue Pueblo. Pueblo, Colorado. Yeah. Pueblo. That's where all the houses are made like Pueblos. <laughs> yeah so it was um it was uh it was an experience you know i mean because it's the first one so um dealing with everybody and, and it was kind of funny dealing with different people on it but yeah um what's the was, magic it, that really made it happen i mean tell us how you found a buyer uh in such a far away location uh, from where you are and tell us how you um the experience of working with some of these people and like how you had to kind of put the deal together. You know what I mean? Talk, okay. talk, talk a little bit about that. Okay. Well, I did all the marketing of the property in Facebook, Facebook, okay. Facebook groups. I joined all the groups that were in Colorado. Um, I talked to a few people out here that um, had connections in Colorado as well, but it ultimately ended up being, a Facebook marketplace um, really? ad that I put out okay. and um, it was funny because the message was in my filtered messages yeah and um, I was making sure it didn't I didn't care if it was 12 midnight I didn't care if it was 2 in the morning if somebody messaged me and I was up I was on the phone messaging them back yeah and one day I was out running errands and my phone pulled up and it said Oh, you have a filtered message. And so I looked at it and it was like um, some weird message that said, I saw your Facebook ad, give me a call. But the name on the message was a different person's Facebook group. So I was like, hmm. I was like, you know what? Message him back anyway. So I messaged him back and I was like, hey, um, I'll give you a call tomorrow. And then the guy answered and was like, hey, that was my employee. We're interested. Let's talk. And then that's just how it happened. Yep. So we got on the phone. We talked a little bit. Um, and that was it. Cool. Pretty much. And, it and, wasn't... They, bought, and they bought the uh, three houses, two, two, three, a little tiny little cheap, cheap deals, right? Yeah. Tiny little uh, three properties in one package. Like, and we're talking all three of them were less than 150,000, 200,000 total, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were less than 150 <clears throat> altogether. I see. Yeah, so pretty cheap deals, but um so being in living in Southern California, 
uh, got some JV, got a JV partner in Pueblo, California. I mean, mm-hmm. Pueblo, Colorado, that had three little tiny rinky dink deals that were great. Turns out great investment properties for a landlord or a fix and flipper. What was your buyer? Um, he was actually, we, I was actually initially looking for a buy and hold. Okay. Um, cause we know the properties needs a little bit of work. Yeah. But if you're just gonna, you know, do a little cosmetics, you could just do a little bit and maybe keep the tenants or cause they were two were already occupied, but he came around and was like, well, you know, I like to do whole renovations. And I was like, okay, you know, and then when we just talked, I think that took, Two weeks from start to finish. Okay. From the time we talked yeah. to, the, to the closing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Good. Yeah. He's a serious buyer. Yeah, pretty much. I had yeah. a really good feeling from him from the beginning and everything. Because um, there were some other people who, a lot of people who messaged, you know. Off of but, the Facebook marketplace. So you, from Southern California, you found a Pueblo, Colorado buyer using Facebook marketplace. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, and you know, and n- nervous the whole time, you know what I mean? But, oh, yeah. I, that's why I want to give a shout out to you, Justin, and your mentoring and your group and everybody in the group. Um, because you make it seem, you make it much more easier to talk to, you know, because before yeah. I'd be like, oh my God, I don't know what to say to these people, whatever, you know what I mean? And yeah. with the other Tennessee deal that, you know, for claims sake, it didn't go through because of title issues. Um, but you're just like, just do it. Just go for it. Right, exactly. <laughs> the guys, they already got it, So, yeah. you know, exactly. I really appreciate you and the group for... I, I, I thank you for saying that too, very much. I really appreciate it. You're very kind and you're a very faithful student too. You've been around for uh, a, a few months now and, and uh, you know, sometimes people come and go, they discover things. They like, maybe this wasn't for them or maybe it was too much work or whatever, but I, I really want to, I really want to uh, give you praise here too. Cause you've got, you've got some real stick to itiveness. I don't even know if that's a word, but <laughs> stick to itiveness. Well, I you. did go MIA for a little bit. You know the situation on that, but I'm not going to stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've been working at yeah. too long. And now yeah. that I have you in my corner and a couple of other people that I reach out to, I yeah. um, there's no reason why yeah. I can't just get out there and do more. So, so long story short is it took about two weeks and you made yeah. a few thousand dollars. Let's just say that a few. Yeah. <laughs> More than <Yeah>. a couple. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then the first thing yeah. you did was, is you ran right over to the real estate wholesalers club.com and you ordered a bunch of shut up money apparel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for it to come. <laughs> I don't know what all you it's ordered. I did California I, I, now. Yeah, it's cold there. It's not. It's hoodie weather. Huh? I so mean, you, it's like sixty-five degrees, but it's cold for me. You know, I, I uh, just so everybody knows when they listen to this, um, that Alefa is the one that designed the uh, hashtag "Shut Up Money." And and hey, I ordered one too. I was like, this shit's so fucking cool. I'm sorry, it is way cool. Uh, this hoodie, I think I got a gray one with the big black hashtag "Shut Up Money" on it uh, right here on the front. I was like, man, that's the coolest one we got. That's the best idea ever. <laughs> So, yeah. You don't have to give me credit for it. <laughs> oh, no, it's too late. I already did. I mean, it's it, but it's a great, great idea. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to getting mine. I hope, hopefully, it'll be here within the next week or so. It usually doesn't take too long to get, a week and a half or, or so like that. But, yeah. And they let, and they let you know when they mail it. I should be getting it real soon. I had to put my phone to my ear because I was getting a call and the, and for some reason the microphone went a little bit low. That's all right. Um, I, um, I appreciate you sharing the story with us and, and congratulations. And I only yeah. have one other thing that I really need to do or say before we wrap this up. You know what that is? Can you guess? What is it? <laughs> okay. Can you, can you see what I have right here in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> the you heard it. 
I got to ring the cowbell for you because you got okay. a deal. And hey, you know, you got to you got to what we call the shut up money, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Now How's I that? can officially wear my, you know, shirts and sweatshirts. Yeah, yeah, and you can wear that shut up money hoodie and uh, or shirt, and, and you got that shut up money. What's that do to you up here? Because I mean, you know now how it all comes together. You've got that first experience. What's what's the last word on that? Man, just don't don't give up. Pretty much. I mean, it feels great. You know, you get, I, <clears throat> you know, I had to tell the story to you, Justin, about putting the wrong account number on my wire. <laughs> So that yeah. was a little frustrating, but in all actuality, it was just like, it was a good feeling. It was like, man, you yeah. know, and then it encourages you to keep going. It does. And again, a shout out, you know, to Real Estate Wholesalers Club, Justin, Love you guys. Um, everybody in the group. Um, and this is just one of, of many, you know, it's just yeah. the beginning pretty much. And uh, did Kelly get to make a little money? Kelly made a little money. Yes, he did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's it right there. Yes. Congratulations. So, thank you. I'm and, proud and, of um, you. Shut up. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.